Well, hello everyone. This is Freddie Mac. Welcome back to Ham Radio Crusader YouTube channel. Today we're going to do a unboxing before we start a full review of this new radio that I've discovered off of YouTube and the internet. I don't know if I'm pronouncing this correctly, but I pronounce it as TID Radio or TID Radio or Tide Radio or Tider Radio. I don't know which. Let me know down in the comments. <laughs> I really don't know how to pronounce it. I've heard this brand name before. They make a Bluetooth plug-in dongle. The Bluetooth dongle has uh, this connector end on it, connected to a module that allows you to Bluetooth program your walkie-talkie. Now, it doesn't do every walkie in the world, but it does do most common walkie out there and that's the uh, Baofeng UV5R. A friend of mine bought one of these and I took a look at it and I thought that's that's interesting concept because you're eliminating many many programming cables that are out there in this world. Lord knows I have a box full of them. But uh, not only do they make that module, but they make a nice handy talkie now. The, the TID Radio TD-H8. I believe it's a dual band HT that has the Bluetooth feature built into it. And all you've got to do is download a nice little app and Bluetooth to the radio and program it, which I found very intriguing. I don't know how good it is, how bad it is, or how indifferent it is but I thought hey let's get one and let's take a look at it and try it out the TID radio TDH8 and let's see what it looks like inside ooh color ooh bound user manual with English lettering inside once again that's always a plus let's see what some of the features are Dual displayed, dual watch, dual band, operating modes, UHF slash VHF, UHF slash UHF, and VHF slash VHF. As CTCSS and DCS codes research, squelch adjustable and nine levels, 199 programming channels. Couldn't spring for that extra channel, it's just one more. 50 CTCSS tones and 105 DCS codes. And it's got the 1750 hertz tone for repeaters, the SOS emergency function, full dot matrix LCD display screen, dot matrix. Sexy. Built in FM radio from 76.0 to 108.0 megahertz. Vox scan dual watch functions. The two pin Kenwood accessory jack, channel or frequency mode selection, timeout timer, DTMF function, setting and storing of channel names, busy channel lockout function, voice colon vocal indication of the function selected, voice prompts. That's what it is. Frequency steps of 2.5, 5, 6.25, 10, 12.5, and 25 kilohertz. Frequency offset adjustable from 0 to 69.990 megahertz. Okay. Power save function, Bluetooth programming. That's why we're here. And 10 watt, 5 watt, and half watt RF output adjustable. Interesting, interesting. So, there's the manual. A nice little what feels like a plastic business card sized product question ask customer service customer support reminder card with a nice international number for WhatsApp or you can download a user manual programming software product operation video 
at this address, www.walkietalkiesoftware.com. Sorry, I didn't think of it first. Right here in the middle, we have a nice antenna. Looks to be a SMA female. Feels like it's got a little flex to it. This looks just like the walkie-talkie antenna I just got on the little Royage, which is coming up in another video. Underside says 136 to 174 and 400 to 470 megahertz. Interesting. Small, but 12 volts at a half an amp. Power supply for the drop-in charger. Four contacts. Interesting. Got a power LED and charging port. Okay. And we've got the wrist strap. Ooh. Bolt-on belt clip with a metal T-bracket. Okay. And the battery is on the radio. I'm noticing this is more and more a trend with the CCR handy talkies I get. They have a compartment for a battery, but for some reason, the battery comes attached to the radio. This thing's got a little weight to it. Interesting. Wow. Metal landing area for the belt clip. It's got a little little thickness to it too. No screen protector. Interesting. I wonder if it's used. It's not supposed to be. PTT button and a couple of presumably programmable side buttons. Uh, VFO memory BL or that stands for Bluetooth or whatever. AB for the A and B bands. Menu, exit, and full keypad. Looks like we've got an emergency button, uh, some kind of light. Ooh, and a torch light. A little LED light. Let's uh, plug in that. Okay. Antenna here. Welcome. Welcome. Why do these radios want to talk to us so much? It's not a bad looking display. It's color. Dual display. You see the main channel up high, and then there it goes. Main channel's up high, not so main channel down low, some kind of S meter, battery indicator. Interesting. Oh. Oh, what's this? It's like, oh, this is a larger version of this. Interesting. Reach too low, or the frequency is too low. Let's try one, 144. Four, four, 500. Neato mosquito. Hmm. Okay. Let's whip out another radio. Test one, two. Interesting. Let's turn that up a little bit. Let's see if you can hear it. Probably going to have to do this. Testing one, two, three. Ooh. I like the sound of that. KD5 FME. Testing one, two, three. Kilo Delta 5. Foxtrot and Mike Uniform. Testing one, two, three. Hmm. Let's see what it sounds like on the Quan Chain. Kilo Delta 5. Foxtrot and Mike Uniform. Testing one, two, three. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Over. Hmm. All right. Well. Okay, give me a minute here. We're going to configure the Bluetooth and the phone app. I'll have to go run and get my other phone because I'm using this phone, my main phone, as the camera today. So two shakes of a lamb's tail and we'll be right back okay we're back I got the OD master app downloaded onto my phone 
logged in we're going to connect Bluetooth and there you see the TID radio kit I'm going to turn it on wait for everything to jive hit select model and this is the TID radio TDH8 was it I actually remembered that correctly TDH8 I don't know if I have the GMRS or the ham but I'm gonna hit the ham and I'm gonna read it oh and we're reading the radio and the radio is reading that's a nice little progress meter there Interesting. Save programming to receive slash transmit list. It's telling me where to shoot it or save it to. Write, receive, and a repeater list. We'll do one channel. Looks like it's channel one, and we'll set that to 444.1.1. We're going to encode, I'm sorry, decode. Wow, that jumped to digitals really fast. Uh, CTC SS tone of 100.0. We're going to encode the same. We're going to turn the power down to low. Leave it at wide. PTT ID is not necessary. And let's give it a name. For me, that's going to be my all star node of five eight one seven six if I can get the six okay not enough digits so we're going to go a dash five eight one seven six I'm gonna hit done and let's write it interesting progress meter on both the app and the radio How's this for forgetting where your programming cable is? <laughs> Looks like the radio reboots. Well, it goes off anyway. Not seeing it come back on. The screen just fell asleep is all. Okay. I don't know if we're... It looks like we're still in VFO, so channel let's go to... Mode. Yeah, there's channel mode. One. Channel one. There's my 444.100. Sounds really good. But I want that channel label to show up. So I'm betting there's another setting. And that's interference from the other channel. Interesting. Fascinating. Let's turn that down for right now. And maybe put it on something else. Four. Cancel. Four. Four. No. Okay. Four. Five. It's in channel mode. Okay, okay. So can channel I put mode. that in VFO? It, oh, I see what I've done. This takes a just a little bit of getting used to. Four, six, two, five, zero, zero. Hmm, okay. This is in the B-band again, so it looks like it's also scanning. Nope. Huh, interesting. I've got to check those programming. Okay, so let's do this. Back to the I'm back to the app. I've got functions here. Frequency mode. VFO plus channel. 
VFO or channel. I'm going to change this to channel just to see what happens. Change that transmit power to low again. Leave it on wide. No offset. Step is fine. Save it. And just call it KV5 FMU. Hmm. Okay, light control 15 seconds. So maybe we can up that to 30. Voice prompt. We're going to turn you off for now. No Roger beep. I can turn these beeps off. Short key top is none. I could make that the radio. Short key PF1 is lamp. Two is radio. Long key alarm. Long key on PF1 is monitor. Long key PF2 says weather. Well, I'll just leave that where it's at. Power on messages. Display. LCD receive. Alarm box. Bluetooth tone sync. Okay, so let's change that to name. Let's go back up here. A-band frequency mode. Okay, well, let's just leave that alone and write it and see what happens. If I can get it to go back again. And we're writing. Because for some reason we're in two meter mode here. And we're in VFO from the appearances. Go to memory. Still don't have that label. Oh well, I guess we do because it's down here. So the A is channel four. Five. Six. Hmm. So let's change that here. Let's just see if we can't get this to channel one. Put that on another channel. Hmm. Interesting. The label, if you put a label on it, shows up in this little sub display I for lack of a better word it displays the frequency we're in channel mode because we're on channel one you go to VFO you're in VFO mode and down here is your two VFOs interesting uh, choice of placement but there it is that's what you got back to memory I'm on low power as you can tell that it's indicated here by the L W for wide, uh, wide band, and watch the S meter at the top when I key up. About two watts, or two S units, or whatever those indicate. I'm, I'm assuming it's two watts because uh, I think it boasts B10 watt radio. I don't have a meter for it yet, but uh, it's something might we might get into. The torch has uh, got a little something to it. It's nothing blazing fast, but it will also blink if you want it to. There's that programmable button for FM broadcast. Let's go 99.5. Yeah, I'm right next to a digital source, but that's not a great signal. Oh, 10630. Oop, nope. Boy, we're going to have to try this downstairs because this is horrendously awful. 
That's a station that's about 15 miles away, but it's a low power station. Two one zero six nine. Oh wow! No, that's just god awful. That sounds wonderful, but that FM receiver is terrible. Just terrible. Okay, let's go to the B band and put it in VFO. Probably doesn't do aircraft receive. Well, nonetheless, this is our initial take from the TID radio. TDH8 or TD8H. I forget. TDH8. The FCC ID number is 2. Uh, it's uh, 2 Alpha Whiskey Lima 3 dash Tango Delta Hotel 8. I'm going to look it up. Which I will be. I got a sneaky suspicion there's probably a power on mod for this thing. And uh, we're going to find out if there is. Nonetheless, it feels really good in the hand. It feels solid as a rock. Decent feeling antenna. I'd like for that screen to stay on a little bit longer. And for it to stay in one place... Sounds good, but uh, we'll we'll get into it and see what happens. The TID Radio TDH8. All right. Here on the FCC.report website, the 2AWL3-TDH8 FCC ID was approved on March the 24th of 2023, which wasn't all that long ago. And they were approved for 136 to 174 megahertz, 400 to 520 megahertz, and 2.402 to 2.480 gigahertz. For the Bluetooth. So they have been approved by the FCC. You can go to this website address, FCC.report slash FCC ID slash 2AWL3 TDH8 slash for this information. We'll see how it goes, and I'll just say seven threes for now and ham on, y'all.